Hi, this is Jim Toll coming to you from our recording studio in our manufacturing plant in Manila. Today we're going to talk about the VEMD8080 pin photodiode. You could find our complete portfolio of optoelectronic components at vichet.com slash optoelectronics. Fitness bands on the market at the low end will always give you heart rate. As you move up in price point, they'll also measure your oxygen level or SpO2 of the blood. What's happening in a very simplistic way is that as your heart beats, the blood volume in your skin changes. When you're measuring heart rate, you're measuring the absorption of green light in the skin. When you're measuring the SpO2 or oxygenation, you're actually comparing the light that's absorbed by the red and infrared emitters. So if we zoom in just on the optical components, for the green LEDs, we'd recommend the VLMTG1400. These are high intensity LEDs with a peak wavelength of 525 nanometers and narrow bandwidth of plus or minus 10 nanometers. For the photodiode that's between the green LEDs, we'd recommend the VEMD5080 X01. It's one of our large area pin photodiodes with an active area of 7.5 millimeters squared. It has a very low profile of 0.9 millimeters and is sensitive to both visible and near infrared wavelengths. The photo current is linear down to some very small signal levels, which is important when you're reflecting off of skin, and it has narrow part to part variance of the photo current. In addition to the VEMD 5080X01, we have a number of other 7.5 millimeter active area pin photodiodes. And so if you're looking, for example, for just a photodiode that's sensitive to visible light, you'd look at the VEMD 5510C or CF. They're at the bottom of the table. And if you're looking for a photodiode that has a peak wavelength of say 820 or 840 nanometers, we offer that as well. All slightly different output currents, but all the same size of five millimeter by four millimeter by 0.09 millimeter package. So when it comes to fitness bands or smart watches or wearables, they're not all the same size. So our photodiodes shouldn't be either. And that brings us to the VEMD 8080 pin photodiode. It's rectangular in shape. It's 4.8 millimeters by 2.5 millimeters. And it is a little bit smaller in sensitive area of 4.5 millimeters square. The other thing is it has a height of 0.48 millimeters, which is 0.37 millimeters lower in profile than any competing solution on the market. It's also the same height as the VLMTG1400. So for heart rate, you would have the LED and the pin photodiode the same height, and that can uh, make the design in of the components a little bit easier. So as we've discussed in fitness bands, the VEMD8080 can be used to determine heart rate when paired with a green LED. It can be used to determine SpO2 when paired with a red and an infrared emitter something like the VSMD66694, a dual emitter. Samples of the VEMD88 are available now. The data sheet URL is shown. We also have a demo board. So to learn more about that, please contact Phil Cohen at phil.cohen at vichet.com. So I wanted to thank you for the, say, four minutes of your time to learn about the VEMD8080 and some of the other components that we offer in the fitness band smartwatch or wearables market. Thanks.